Good morning all, camelbacktrading.org, coming to you this Thursday morning, March 14th. We're looking at window traders and market profile of the ESNQ. Um, question we have to continually ask ourselves is, are higher prices cutting off volume? Well, once again yesterday, now it was an inside day, so you have to expect that a balanced day. But still, as we're getting closer to a balanced high, <clears throat> and the all-time high, it was the sixth lightest volume of the year. Once again... We've put in an all-time high in ES in the overnight, just below the balance from the back-adjusted high. So this is the third day in a row, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, that they are trying to attack and come out of this daily balance. some point, they really want to go through. NQ, a little different. They're still further away from their um, all-time high and overnight all-time high. Right now, they're... Overnight high. Again, I'm in threes here, but it looks like it's right against yesterday's high. So very close. Righty. <clears throat> back to balance on a daily. Yesterday has traded mostly inside yesterday's range. Um, we do have PPI out. Again, you would think after CPI being out Tuesday, it wouldn't move these algos as much. But, you know, that's probably not going to be the case. So we'll see if they do push higher. If the overnight high becomes higher than the back adjusted all time high. Or if they uh, come back in and get back to where we were 13 wide. We traded a good part of the overnight down here, as you can see. Now, I wasn't here late yesterday. This market attempted to spike lower, only to find sellers firmly rejected in M period and now again overnight and this morning. So, game plan. Again, it's going to depend where the overnight high is. If it's here, or it's even above the back-adjusted high, you can take a short against it the first time to see if they front-run it. If we gap higher, gaps have not held this year, right? Out of 12 upside gaps, only two have held. So, again, I'm not saying you can't take a long against it. I would preferably take a long against it if it fills, and then maybe use value high as my out. Okay? Yesterday's range was also the 10th smallest of the year, and that's with this spike in L period. So the ranges in volume have been tight. Um, hopefully we're going to get ex some expansion on that, but they've been very tight. So again, early plays this morning. Remember, any acceptance back into value from yesterday and what's going to happen. We're going to go back down to this POC, the overnight POC and yesterday's POC. All right, keep that in mind. Okay, bias tried for almost uh, two hours yesterday, HIJ and part of K before they failed and give it up. Well, they're trying once again this morning. And then chart-wise, again, the only one I'll show you is the daily because that's the only one that matters, right? Five-day balance. Don't forget, we have an inside day. You go with it and monitor for continuation or lack of. Very important. Good luck trading today. Thank you for liking and subscribing to this channel, and we'll recap at 4 p.m.